Hey, how are ya? <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is when we do our plug. It's called uh, The Student Saver. Don't be lured by other competition. Let me just show it to you right now so you can see it. It's all over campus, published weekly. Do yourself a favor. Get The Student Saver, all right? Great prices for less. Don't be lured by other competition. Listen, we got Roman Ruby coming up. He'll be all around Towson checking out each and every restaurant. Uh, I'm sure you're not going to want to miss this. I'm sure he didn't. What's up? This is Roaming Ruby. We're here at Towson once again. It's the fourth week of school, four weeks now. How much work have you done? We're here. Today we're doing a simple segment, yet it should be funny. We're going into all these cheesy restaurants in Towson, all these cheesy delivery places where I like to order from, you like to order from. Now, we're going to start out at Pizza Palace. We're going in. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Gyros. 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 The number one, and uh, we make it uh, chicken parmesan. Sure, and are you a good cook? And Are you Italian or Greek? No, Greek. Greek, Greek, Greek. All right, well, um... We make many things over here because we make it uh, by ourselves. I know this is this is also a big drinking facility in the evening yeah. for minors. There's many young people come over here. Paolo's? I think this is about the best one around the neighborhood. Are you saying that because you work here? You, you've yeah. tasted all these foods? Yeah, because I used to eat their food before I... You like cheesesteak? Right. right. We both like cheesesteaks. Right. We're in the Pizza Palace right now. We're going in. I don't know how much English they speak in there, but let's check it out. Come on, we get a one-minute interview from the university? <laughs> you speak fine English. All right, well, I give you good effort. Um, the country restaurant... Well, what would you like to know? We started uh, about 23 years ago. No, actually, we've been in business about five years. Um, we do a lot of Italian and Mexican. We also do catering. We do birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, all kinds of stuff. You don't do bar mitzvahs. He's ranking on bar mitzvahs. It's a Jewish thing. Listen, um, the mix. Bud Stone worked here. Ooh. Oh, we're here with Oh. Oh, let's talk. Um, how do you guys deal with the Towson students? A lot of delivery to the campus? Mm -hmm. Lots of orders. Ooh, what's your favorite dish to cook? Uh, everything. Every no, there's one. There's yeah, new menu. No, new no, menu. No, come on, ooh, what's your favorite dish? Pizzas too are from other stores, you know. Yeah, because I, we interviewed Domino's today yeah. too, and they said that you guys don't even compare, and I disagree. I like your food. Yeah. Oscar. Oscar. Hey. All right. So um, what else do we make you? Uh, Oscar. Pizza, subs, and uh, what else you can imagine, you know? I can't imagine, that's why I'm asking. Uh, Come on now, Oscar. Pizzeria Uno's. Uh, there's no comparison. We bake our rolls fresh every day. Uh, we got the best chicken wings in town, buffalo wings. Our cheesesteaks are fresh. You're not foreign. No, we're not foreign, we're American, and uh, <laughs> which helps. And, uh, All right, now. Now, which I noticed, the guy at the real thing said that. Oh no, me no speak English. No, 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 no. McDonald's. Hey. All right, we're at Kings. We're going inside. I have cheesesteak better than anybody here. I'm Baltimore best in '92 in cheesesteak. Baltimore, get out. Because over there they said. Over, I, I don't understand. I'm sorry. I have 92 best in Baltimore magazine. We're going in. I don't know how much English they speak in there, but let's check it out. Real cheese, right? Plus, they speak English here. Let's see. The recipe is the difference. All right, you guys opening up nationwide, like in Iraq and everything, like Domino's is? Really? Yeah. Well, you guys know some of that language already. A lot of you, I'm not making fun, a lot of you guys are foreign, though. Yeah, we you lost Like the way you say, Oscar. You taking over Strapaza? Yeah. Oh, you guys taking over? Uh, ooh, you gonna be head chef? Yeah. All right, this is Ruby. We're gonna be getting out of here now. I hope you enjoyed our segment on all these fast food places at Towson. It's pretty funny how they all put each other down and think they're the better one, but I guess that's life. It's been fun. Have a good week, TSU. I'll see you next week. Going to the Renaissance Festival.
you doing, everybody? Welcome back. I'm here with Mike Walter, famous stuntman. He'll be able to tell us all his credentials in a second. But first, let me tell you where we are. We are on top of the Cook Library here at Towson. Mike, I guess this feels comfortable for you. What do you think? Yes, I, uh, I, I suggested this uh, it would, you know, feel more in my territory so I can talk more in a candid uh, frame of mind. It just it lets you breathe a little easier, I guess. Very much so. Huh? Mike has been in uh, stunt work for now how long? Twelve years. Twelve years. And he started out first as a boxer. Why don't you tell us a little bit, first of all, how you got into stunt work? Uh, I was an Olympic boxing contender in 1980. I have uh, been in the martial arts uh, all my life and I had been in the boxing ring for 12 years. And on May 22nd, 1980, I was involved in a very bad automobile accident. And I was comatose for three weeks and paralyzed from the waist down, uh, legally blind in my left eye, and I still have a hearing problem in my right ear. And uh, needless to say, my boxing career was over. So in uh, my rehabilitation for the next four years, I went from, uh, I did start walking again, needless to say. I uh, went from a um, wheelchair to a four-sectional walker to crutches to a cane. And then my martial arts instructor, Danny Asano, introduced me to um, a gentleman named Bobby Bass, who introduced me to Dar Robinson. Now these names, I don't know, are these stuntmen? I yeah, mean, very, famous, not... very, okay. very, very famous, very, very famous stunt people. Dar Robinson was uh, the gentleman you saw in Sharky's Machine at the end going out of the 16th floor. Uh, he died in 1986, not stunt related. Right. And uh, so I was introduced to him and I was told because I was a handicap that I should start at being an extra because they needed to hire minorities like that. And so then I was introduced to watching the stunt community and I thought I could do this. You know, Did that give you incentive to get up? Very much so. Yeah? Very much so. The whole ability that my fight career was over gave me the incentive to walk again. Um, you just need to be physically active. Right. I, I mean, I tried. Uh, I was in a wheelchair for six months. I, tried, I was thinking, I'm sure a lot of people do this at different traumatic times in their life, but I thought about possibility of taking my life because I couldn't fight anymore. I couldn't walk anymore. I didn't know if I'd be able to date or anything. And God forbid. I, no kidding. And... Uh, and for the grace of God, I guy got up one day, and now 12 years later, I'm a two-time world record holder on fire, and uh, you can go see me in Striking Distance. Striking Bruce Distance, Wilson. the new Bruce Willis film, and speaking of that, let's, let's get back to uh, movies in the past that we might have seen you in, we might recognize you in. Um, Roadhouse. That's the Patrick Swayze. Patrick flick. Swayze. Uh, Code of Silence with Chuck Norris. Rocky Three with Sylvester Stallone. TV shows like uh, The Dukes of Hazard, Cagney and Lacey. I don't want to try to outdate myself. But... That's all right. Hey, this will bring rings bells to me. I'm okay, sure good. everyone else out there. Good. How about working with like a Sylvester Stallone? What's that got to be? It's got to feel good, huh? I have, uh, I realize that I'm in a business of egos, and you can find that in any, you can find it here at the school. Seriously, and... I heard so many people here have egos. And, and what, what you need to understand is I'm, do... see, I'm a professional stuntman, and the first thing is I'm a professional. All right, I'm not a daredevil, okay? I'm a professional stuntman. We go about it with research and intense training, and we just try to stay away from the egos. That's cool. Um, getting more back to the stunts, most death-defying stunt in your eyes, I know we were talking earlier, you said, well, you know, it's different in everyone else's eyes, like your mom might think this is dangerous, right. you might think this is dangerous. But in your eyes, Mike, what's the scariest? It scared the living. Well, it's, it's, it's really hard to pinpoint that because I'm putting my life on the line every day I work, okay? And so it's hard for me to say, well, the fire burn I did in 86 Which was more a uh, thing called uh, Twisted Nightmare and was more dangerous than the motorcycle slide underneath the tractor trailer at 45 miles an hour for the TV series Dark Justice. Right. I can't say that because, right. I mean, I'm an adrenaline junkie and I get a rush off it all and it's just sometimes it takes more research and more planning than the other ones. The one we just did in uh, striking distance was an 80 foot high fall off a bridge after they threw me in front of a train. That was a pretty emotional movie. What are the kind of effects after after a tremendous 80 foot jump? What it knocked the wind out of me. I had to, uh, and uh, I didn't know if we were allowed to say that. Is this TV? Uh, we got the beeps going. Okay. <laughs> we have, uh, I ended up in physical therapy for two months. I had a torn rotor cuff in my left shoulder and a, and a torn hamstring. Terrific. Listen, Mike's got all the battle wounds <clears throat> to show. I've seen him prior to this uh, little interview. He's got scars ranging from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, but we're gonna be right back. We're gonna bring Roman Ruby on. We're gonna do a little stunt work. What do you think, Mike? Sounds good to all me. All right, stay right with us, all right?